Bipolar Rollers. Welcome back. You know, it's hard to admit when things aren't quite in your control. When it feels like you just you don't have it together. You know? There are days I wake up and I don't know how I quite feel about my existence. You know? If I'm making any progress at all. If I'm involving the right people in my life, you know, if I'm purposely not involving people in my life, just things up in the air, you know, we all get that, we all get that, but it can be a little overwhelming when you got a runaway train like bipolar. You just got to give it a little ammunition and sometimes you could end up in an episode for, you know, days, weeks, months. And that episode being your cycle of thoughts, you know, very powerful thing, our mind. It changes how we view the world. It changes how our day goes. It changes things. Change is good, but not always. So, one thing that I, thing that stuck out for me when I was studying how to talk to God, you know, how to feel connected with a higher power, a source, is that even if you're spiritual, you can relate to this, about listening to the universe, like allowing life or the universe to kind of steer you to kind of give you hints as to which way you're going to go and someone asked in one of the email counseling sessions like how do you know which message is from god how do you know which message is for your higher your highest good and the only answer could be the one that has love in it. If you're ever questioning whether or not your thoughts are clear, if you're really looking at yourself and other people with pure and unbiased eyes, ask yourself, are your thoughts coming from a loving place? Or are they not? If you want to look at it as being blissfully naive, and to, or to be wearing uh, rose-colored glasses throughout life. What have you got to lose? I mean, what is it about keeping your spirits up or being optimistic that really, that you stand to lose from having that? You're afraid you're gonna be taken advantage of, you're afraid you're going to be hurt because you thought the best of people and things. That's not worth it for you. Our mind is a runaway train. Did you get your ticket? And what does your ticket say? What's that destination? Are you gonna make sure you make it there? Or are you gonna make every stop along the way Letting your mind twist things. I don't think you are. I think you're going to stop letting it twist things. I think you're going to see things for how they are. As beautiful and as innocent as they would be if your jaded skepticism wasn't being injected in there. You know, it's okay to fake it till you make it. And I think faking being naive is not such a bad thing. I think if you look at things through the eyes of a child, it's like you're seeing everything for the first time. You get to experience the love, the joy, you know, the thrill, the anticipation of life. You get to see things for how they were before life got to you. And I implore you, to go back to that place again. To go 
go back to that place again where you trust again, where you love again, where you have hope again. Because at the very edge of that place, right as you enter it, you'll find the hope for your mental condition. You'll find the recovery from what it's done to you. And you'll find the tools to build that life you've always wanted with fresh new eyes represent my brothers and sisters